Protesting. Topic protest. Well, I, I like what you were getting to. We sort of um, we sort of um, started talking about it. You brought up a great point uh, based upon some things I was saying, and then we sort of sidetracked. But things that distract you, I, I think that's a great topic. I mean, uh, how do you lose focus in this business? How do you how do you put yourself um, sort of uh, Maybe I'm not going to say in the wrong state of mind, but how can you, yeah, how can you put the focus on the wrong things? How can you, I'll tell you, there are days where I have gotten in front of the computer and uh, felt absolutely insanely productive and, and incredible. And there are days where um, I would uh, just feel defeated, you know, you know, I'm talking about growing in this business. And the reason those days happen where I felt defeated is that I got caught up in the, uh, the, 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 actual um intricacies a little the little tasks right and if you start to put out little fires and little tasks and answer all these emails you don't get the sense of accomplishment you don't get the sense of uh moving your business forward you get up and you delegate to your team and uh, i was joking at the beginning of the call that i you know i get on to my bumblebee <laughs> on the computer in the morning and i talk to my team but it's true I do. I, I make a. I have a notebook. I keep a list of things, systems, right? Things that are important that we want to, you know, to improve. And and I'll I'll just go to my executive assistant. I'll make some. Uh, uh, we'll we'll have a little uh, talk in the morning and and let her execute. I I I, I fight the ur the urge to go in and just uh, put out the fire myself. I I know I can do it. I know I'm capable. I know we're all on this call capable of doing every part of the business, but. Uh, you know, that's not going to move our business forward, right? That's not going to bring higher levels of productivity. So uh, I keep trying to, you know, have that mindset of the of the manager, right, The uh, of the entrepreneur and stay outside the box. I don't mind getting my hands dirty and going in uh, when it's needed. But I think that for me, so along what you were saying, Scott, one of the factors that can limit you, one of the distractions is to get caught doing the little things, right? Sure. Because they're so easy to do, aren't they? I'm just going to put that ad up. Um, I'm just going to um, create that ad copy. Uh, I'm just going to, whatever, whatever it is that you, takes you only a few minutes of your time, but you do that one after another, and then you add into that, you know, letting the email dictate your day. It's a recipe for um, feeling just unaccomplished right so I, I think that's one thing scott i think that's a you were really hitting on a good thing there because this is real this is this is real this 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 can happen to all of us um and how do you keep yourself away from that that's important so how do you feel about that oh i i totally agree uh as you know you feel unaccomplished and overwhelmed is yeah. that's how you feel horrible feeling right yeah Th those are two of the it's worst like feelings I mean. That, by the way, is any job. If you have a yeah. corporate job, if you sit in front of a computer, if I don't care whether you're an accountant or you're a sales guy or whatever, like if you let if you let the minutia control you, you're never going to get your job done. Right. Especially true in land, though, because you know we gravitate towards what we like. Right. I like spreadsheets. I'll gravitate towards the spreadsheet all day long. Right. And I enjoy it, but. Every hour I'm running a spreadsheet trying to make it look good and do fun calculations and all this other stuff, that's an hour I'm not actually doing my job. It's an hour I'm not selling land. Not yeah. to say that it's not worth it, but probably not worth it. <laughs> well, it. It's interesting that I feel more productive the days that I force myself to do other things aside from land, right? Because then if I say to myself, well, I've got eight hours today. I'm just going to spend it doing land, right? I could find a million little things to do. We all could, right? But if I do other things that bring joy, spend time with the family, uh, read a little bit, uh, do a little Eric uh, Peterson guitar. I can't play the guitar. That's just a <laughs> joke. Um, but you do these other things. and You limit the time that you have available. This is a sort of interesting thing, right? We create time with our business, but then we want to fill that time. And do we fill that time with little things that, or do we fill that time with like productive, like, okay, doing what we love, because remember, we're doing this to create time to do things we love. So spend time doing those things. And then the little bit of time we want to dedicate to the business, are we doing high end 
uh, actions? Are we doing uh, systems? Are we, are we looking at our processes? Are we um, educating our team how to think like we do? Uh, things like that. So it's, it's kind of cool. Lin- Good stuff. Uh, we Lin- have some Cash comments. Brian. Hold on a second. Oh, no. Uh, Jeremy Pierce says, shiny objects. Yes, I, th- I think those are uh, those are distractions for everybody. Stay focused in my counties. Don't go exploring. Uh, Matt Forbes, how many of us do? How many of us are, are guilty of of having done that in the past? So bad, honestly. So bad. So bad. I mean, Oops. that's a rabbit hole that you can go down for days, for weeks, <laughs> and in the end, would you do? Would you find? I mean, yeah. There are there are some serious rabbit holes in this business, but exploring new counties is definitely one of them, and I'm super guilty. Yeah, exploring new counties when you're already making money in one county, we feel like we need to spread out to different ones. I mean, uh, you know, Keith Forche is walking. I got to hand it to Keith. I know that that guy, he's like laser focused on one county for sure. Maybe maybe he's branched out now to a couple couple counties. But listen, uh, you need one area to, to get this going. Be consistent in that area. Mail that area. Market that area. Uh, keep it simple. Don't get distracted by all these different areas. Right.